hello welcome back to my channel if you are new here hello my name is sarah i upload every single week um every month this year i am doing a goals video uh i i'll link the annual my 2021 goals video above um but i it's one of the things i set for myself to a hold myself accountable but b maybe motivate you to you know tackle whatever you wanted to prioritize this year uh, so in line with that, I'm doing my March goals. It is March 1st. It is a new week. It is a Monday. It is a new month, a new week. And yeah, new headspace because Fe I live in Texas and February was not nice to Texans. So without further ado, let's rock and roll. So if you did not see my February goals video, um, I'm going to be threading some of those goals. I did not. I'm just going to tell you now. I did not hit many of my goals for last month because I didn't have power for like a freaking week. So um, a lot of the stuff I kind of rolled into March uh, or I've had to like increase my, my output for March to, to kind of make up for February, but at the same time, keep me on track for the year, right? Because I don't want this to be kind of like a pattern. Um, and then I'm just kind of constantly operating from a deficit. I don't want to do that. This is going to sound a little redundant from February. I'm just telling you that now um, because I have to, you know, still have to get this stuff done. So um, one of the goals I had for every, for every month this year is to tackle a space. So the, the space like to update, redo, make it better, whatever. Um, so the space this month that's getting tackled is the butler's pantry, which is formerly known as the bar. <laughs> and now it's sort of been this like catch all. I'm changing, I talked about this in the vlog last week, but I am changing the um, the bar catch-all sort of area into the butler's pantry because it's, it just makes a lot more sense and I'm just constantly, constantly fighting the area that I have now for my baking. It's like a cabinet and I'm not tall and I'm just, I said this before, it's like I'm playing a shitty game of Tetris and I'm always losing. Um, so we're doing that, that's like my goal. Um, my fitness goals, uh, at the risk of sounding repetitive, if you're new, I have a Peloton. So everything I do is with Peloton because they've, it's gamified and I fell for it. Um, but my total spin, I want to hit 640. My total for strength, I want to hit 240. And my total for stretch, sorry, spin 640, stretch 240, strength 250. There you go. I did not hit my goals for February because of like the snowpocalypse that hit Texas. Uh, we didn't have power. It was like a whole mess. Um, so I'm rolling a lot of those numbers into March and trying to kind of absorb that hit and get myself back on track. Um, a little like subset goal of that. There are, there's like goal, they have little challenges every single month and they have an annual challenge as well. And it's like a minute thing. So I need to be at 3,750 minutes for the end of March. So that's a goal. Um, I need to start Photoshop. I did not do that last month. I need to do that. Uh, so I start Photoshop, I mean start learning Photoshop. Um, I also, we did not, Jeremy and I, <laughs> it's kind of like February version two. Um, we did not take the Wolfgang class, so we need to do that this month. Uh, I also, I do want to keep reading. So uh, I've stayed on track with two books a month. So I'm going to keep that going. So I want to read two books this month. Um, I want to maintain my daily morning pages. Those definitely fell by the wayside um, with the weather and everything in February. I've, I've done a really good job staying on it. But then when the weather hit, I just like literally there's no lights. So like I couldn't come up like I could, you know what I mean? It was just a mess. So I didn't do it for uh, several days in February and I need to fix that. So I've been back on it since life's been, you know, kind of back into the swing of things, but it's definitely something I noticed. I was like, oh, that fell by the wayside. I want to continue my daily self compliments that also fell by the wayside because it just wasn't coming up into my office because it's dark. Um, I also want to keep up with my weekly measurements. I have not failed that once which is great. And what I mean by weekly measurements is I take my body measurements every single week. I do it on Fridays. Um, I am like five, four and a half. And so for me, like to, you know, losing weight, it's like, uh, I cool, I lost a pound. Um, it's not like, I don't, I'm not big enough to where I can drop like four pounds a week. And I'm not tall enough to where you know, I have a ton to lose. So it's easier and probably really healthier for me to lose um, inches. 
and that's I noticed that a lot more when like I've I've been tracking that and that's gone really well so I want to maintain that I also want to lot I want to maintain my weekly purchases so one of the things I set for myself for the year um, was to basically non grocery purchases make those once a week and I, I designate Friday for that um, Fridays tend to be my like slightly less busy days so it's a nice day for my brain to kind of go okay what do I need to do you know uh, I can say from February, uh, I definitely didn't, there were, really, I was doing great, and then the weather, uh, threw us, because, like, you know, it was like, oh, we have, we have internet for a second, okay, what did we think of that we needed to do? Go ahead and get that in the queue, because the Lord knows how long it's gonna take us to get it, you know? So I kind of think from that perspective, I'm doing great, because the only time I, like, failed on that was a totally justifiable reason but yeah uh, I want to continue to weekly self tan I've done really well on that the only time again with February like I couldn't turn the lights on so I could you know what I mean like it just kind of didn't happen um I want to replant my spring garden I've re uh, so if you don't know this my my garden died with the snowpocalypse most of it did so um I want to replant and I actually have for the most part replanted um and then I also want to expand it so those are two separate goals um I have I have really huge garden goals I've got a whole video on that um I've got good garden goals for this year and so I love having at least one goal a month that's garden related just because it's so for me it's so like it's so soul satisfying that yeah I love it uh so replant and expand um I'm maintaining a bunch of these as well from last month because I, you know, at risk of sounding repetitive. Um, twice a week face masks for self-care, four times a week makeup. Uh, I do that because two things. One, I just feel better when I've done it, right? Like for me, you got to keep in mind, I did this for a long time for a living and I was great. So <laughs> I... It's taken me a while to get to where I actually enjoy it again because it was so creatively fried that I just was like, okay, like literally to do, to do, to do, like crank it out. I never actually felt like, uh, I never played, let's put it that way. I just never like played with my own face very often because I just didn't care and I was just like tapped. Um, so now that I've kind of woken up a little bit more in that and feeling more it's just you're feeling more restored right your glass is getting full and so okay what can i do and it's so that's one of the goals that fell into that where it's just i'd like to take the time to just get ready now what i will tell you since i've set that goal for myself is it's exhausting it takes me because i film and because my lights normally are super bright with my camera, my other camera, this is my vlog camera, but with my sit down camera, that thing is like cinema and your makeup for that is totally different than everyday makeup. So it's, um, it is like a process to get ready and you're just exhausted afterwards. So I like having it four times a week because it takes time. And then the, the other, I mean, I don't have to go like full camera ready four times a week, but like, I try to time it with filming days just to maximize it. Um, and then the twice a week uh, face mask, a detox of skin, but also I love, I mean, I do skincare, right? Like I'm a skincare education professional. So like um, it encourages my own uh, exploration of product and just not necessarily falling on well, what I have, like it, it'll make me have to buy stuff and like replenish and, and whatever. And I really love that. But it also is the bookend to getting ready it's the getting unready um hopefully that makes sense the daily walks jeremy and i's big thing was to take nightly walks we've expanded that so we didn't do that with the weather and uh, we've done it we actually were doing really well until the weather hit we were doing awesome and then it got miserable like we literally were like iced in and then um and then it's just, we're playing catch up. And by the time it's like after dinner, which is usually when we take a walk, we are so tired. Like I am so tired. 
So, cause I go, I get up and I go. And that's, I don't stop until it's like after dinner and then I'm toast. So I gotta, I gotta work on that. But I also think, honestly, I think so much of that's because I'm playing catch up and it's just hard. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it doesn't, it's not, but it is. Um, yeah. Anyway, the new thank yous, I have to, I have to order thank yous. I keep, I'm gonna, this, it'll be like September and I'll be like, I still have to get thank yous. Um, but that's part of my annual goals. So I really wanted to have nice thank yous. And in case you didn't see the, I think February goals I did, I was making them and then found out that the three, the whatever the hell we have, what's the thing called, Cameo? Um, that thing only does the line fonts. I hate line fonts, so that didn't wind up happening. So now I'm looking for the thank you cards and I just honestly haven't done it. So I need to. Um, weekly cleaning per Martha. Martha, uh, I, I, I don't know. In some, at least one video I've talked about this. I have her homekeeping handbook. One of my big goals for this year was, um, to prioritize my house more. I am, I feel, like I, to, I feel like I always need to contextualize that because it just sounds like you're like a slob, you know? Um, I used to work like a mad woman. I mean, literally like crazy hours a week. And um, I consequently had advanced degenerative disc disease and permanent mobility loss in my back. So, um, I, in the, in part of rebuilding a life for myself and, uh, and, and finding like, okay, well, if I can't do life this way, how do I do life? Right? How do I live in a way that feels fulfilling and satisfying, but at the same time looks totally different than it used to because it has to. So one of the things that I decided to tackle was like, I could get way better at like, homekeeping you know how do I actually do this because I just was never around and um and it's been it's been such a fun thing to prioritize because it is like it I mean, it sounds so weird but like at the same time it, it doesn't to me I love I I love the fact that I make it a to-do every single day like every day there's at least a couple of chores on my list at least you know, usually there's like 10, but like, there's a lot. But my weekly, monthly, and seasonal cleaning, I've learned how to do that from Martha. And so I bought all the books and I'm like, okay, tell me what I gotta learn, because I don't know. And it's been awesome. So I say this with a lot of love and a lot of grace, but like, if you were like me or are like me, uh, she's a great resource. And so I highly recommend getting her books if you're like, how do I even do this? She'll tell you, she's awesome. Um, but so like my weekly, my monthly, and my seasonal cleaning, because it is March, my spring cleaning, um, that all gets plugged into March. And yeah, I'll have videos on that though. I'm, gonna, I've gotta, I'm actually really excited with that. I'm gonna do a whole spring cleaning video um, where I'm gonna spend like almost a week spring cleaning. Uh, yeah, I gotta map that out in my head, but yeah, I have an idea, I have an idea and I'm really excited about it because it does make you feel like you just really accomplished something. And it's also, I think it's something that I've stumbled upon already this year and just making home like a respite and a retreat and not like a pain in my ass. You know what I mean? Because the, the thing is, I've just gotten, Jeremy and I both struggle with this. We both are people that are just so go, go, go that we are either too tired or we just put it on the list and never get around to tackling whatever that is. And then it gets to the point where you just kind of have to deal with it. And it's, at that point, it's like frustrating, right? You're like pissed off about it. Um, so I think it's been really nice to prioritize the house in ways with like, you know, with the cleaning task and with tackling the spaces um, and with gardening because it makes your home your retreat. And it gives you this like subconscious feeling of like home and productivity and you've prioritized something that really matters to your family and all of that. So yeah, um, so yeah, I really love that. Uh, I have no doubt in my mind 
that I'm gonna get a lot more done than I've got on this. This this month is definitely a combination of like, okay, how do I keep pace for the year? But at the same time, I gotta absorb like a lot of February. So if I were a betting person, I would bet I will accomplish all of this. I would also bet that April is gonna look a lot like this because I have I have a lot of ideas and I have a lot of things that I really want to get done and I have a lot of things that I, I'm kind of an impatient, well, no, I definitely am. I'm an impatient person. So once I wrap my head around, oh, I want to do this, I do it. So, um, yeah. So I think you're about to see March, April, May. Yeah, March, so spring, summer, you're going to see it turn way up, way up. Which is great for me. I love that because this, this is my this is my life. This is my house. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, we're coming out of winter, which is my least favorite. I hate I hate winter. I love Christmas, but I hate winter. Um, it just bums me out. I, I've got that. What do they call it? Seasonal affective, whatever. I have that where it's just like you're bummed out when it's gray outside. That's me. Um, so yeah, it's a constant. With, when the weather is like this, where it's like gloomy and gray, I just said this in my vlog, but um, having a garden has been amazing for that because you find a value in that. Because uh, days like this are amazing for the garden, but it is a constant struggle with my energy. Um, I've gotten a ton done today. It's 3.30. I've gotten it. It's Monday. I've gotten a ton done, but I am so tired already. And it's because it's freaking gray outside. Um... And I just need to, you know, I'm constantly, constantly fighting that. Uh, so yeah, what I would say is I, I'm i really looking forward to giving you the recap at the end of the month. I'm also looking forward to seeing whatever else I can get done because I just have so, I have so much to, I want to do, you know, and I'm impatient. So it typically winds up being like, you know, just figure it out and then. So I'm actually looking forward to reporting back on this at the end of the month. Um, snow apocalypse round two permitting. Hope to God we don't have one of those again that sucked. But yeah, so anyway, hopefully this video inspired you to tackle your to-do list or, you know, set some goals for yourself for the month and map out how to achieve them. But yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.